when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Victor left his empty glass out here and today our goal is to barrier off the deck from the dogs because as you see they're always always on the deck which is fine but Victor bought a um, a new high pressure gurney. It's super high pressure. For a while we've wanted to get the deck to be more of our space more than the dogs coming at their own free will. So the plan is we've already moved the dog beds over here which they're fairly happy with. We let Nabi in sometimes because she's kind of the least dirty most of the time. So the plan is, this is going to be the dog's area for now, while, while everything's still getting built. And we're going to put a temporary gate from here over to the fridge. Oh, good girl. Yeah, we're going to put like a temporary gate here so they can't get onto the deck this way. Victor said he had a plan for this kitchen area because the only other area they come through is under here But we can probably block that off with um With like other stuff and then on a more permanent basis They also jump up on and off the deck over here Which you can see down there Makes a huge mess huge amounts of mud and that mud comes up on the deck and dries. Which, oh boy, which makes a heap of, you know, dry dirt. <laughs> dirt is dry. So we're just gonna stop the dogs from coming on the deck. And this is also the little strip we walk on the way from the shower to bed. So it's hard to keep your feet clean as you go to bed. This is a new addition to this gate. Victor started this yesterday. I'll try to film this. So we've got this ginormous log. I believe it's Tallowood. And this one, which is really nice. I really feel like you can pick towels there while you have a shower. This is just an old farm gate that, whoop, I uh, can't come out, can ya? This is an old farm gate. So dogs can come out and then they can't come back on. And then we're gonna make a more permanent fixture here to the wall of that. It's like uh, Victor showed me, kind of like cable wire or cable nice and tight. 
tight and it looks quite good on decks it doesn't sound nice but I've Victor showed me some photos and it did look really nice so we're thinking we're just gonna put that here whoops you can't really see we're gonna put that there so we can still be quite productive when we're loading out spearfishing stuff we can park a car here and then put an empty put the empty green tub over the fence wire whatever and then fill it up and then same thing when we unpack or we've also got the gate to use oh and look come on Kai come on see that's what they do so they're just at free will jumping up and off the deck making these lovely paw prints yes paw prints of mud oh hello this is nice this is nice oh it works it does work you did good you did good thank you um what are you, what are you doing i was just saying how we're gonna put in a permanent kind of fence thing here and a permanent one over there yeah and and the plan and then i said how we got the gurney so if you have a look here this wood here has had a quick gurney get away from me dogs and then you can see i'll transition from like mud to gurneyed wood dirt to gurneyed wood so the plan is just to get back that nice wooden wood look not this kind of gray dirt look what are your plans no, I gotta go up that road with the cherry picker. Say that again. I gotta go help the neighbor with the cherry picker. Yeah. So Victor's gonna go help Waza up the road. Gotta be good neighbors around here. And then the water in town's looking fairly clear, would you say? Yeah. I don't know, probably. So we're hoping it's gonna be clear. Victor went diving the other day and got a couple drummer which we've already eaten and we got to make the most of the clear water so we're going to go diving again if we're going into town and then we're going to go to Bunnings and get the fence stuff Touch me again Oh yeah, nice You like that? Perfection <laughs> And then we're going to come home and gurney the deck off and and hopefully put together a bit of a, a movie for you guys to see some more upgrades and that will be the day we plan for you. Say goodbye to the deck dogs. Bye bye. Say bye bye, Victor. Bye bye. A big girl. All right, so Victor's just head up the road to help the neighbor. He reckons it'll only be about an hour. I think I'm gonna clear the deck right off. But I know 95% of this channel is me cleaning and that's not fun. That's not living off grid. That's not what it's all about. So I won't film myself cleaning the deck. I might just show you a quick mess and then empty deck, just like that. I've done the deck and I've just taken almost everything off the ground, except for that thing. That big girl there. Victor can take the table off. And maybe his weights, he can take them off. So I pretty much just put everything over here. <laughs> and then later on, I'm gonna gurney it down and you'll see a huge difference hopefully because at the moment the wood just looks grey and dusty and when you walk on it, you just like get dusty feet and it doesn't feel nice. So hopefully next time you see the deck, it's going to look like proper nice hardwood timber where you can see the timber, not just the dirt. And I can't wait. No, we can't wait. No, we can't wait. Hola. Hi. What have you got here? Got a new spear. Wow, that is sharp. Don't touch it. Nabi, get out. That wasn't an invite. Naughty. Never again. There's 12, 12. Victor's back from here. How'd you go with Warwick with the cherry picker? Yeah. Good. Got it done. Neighbours love you. Yeah. yeah. Hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move this 
random seat that doesn't really serve a purpose. So then I'll have a lot more room to walk past her once this fence is here. So we're just gonna have some lunch. Oh, we're just gonna have some lunch. I've made a little salad, just like a rough coleslaw with the drummer Victor caught the other day. We're gonna eat that. And then we're gonna go to Bunnings, pick out some wire, and then we're gonna hopefully go for a dive. Maybe have like a picnic or something because I think it actually sounds like the water's gonna be heaps nicer for like frolicking and playing in the waves because there's a bit of a swell. So we might go diving or we might just go for like a swim at the beach, which is fun. And yeah, like 2.6 meters. Whoa, that's a good, good loading point, isn't it? Look that. Right in like that. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. Oh. Is it, are you gonna go for a dive in town? Yeah. What are you gonna get with that gun? Smash mackerel. Oh yeah. Tuna. Tell him he's dreaming. Tuna. Tuna. Very made of fire. Very nice. All right. Oh yeah, that's sick. Oh yeah. Oh, let's go. Okay, we're in town, or at least we're driving through town, and I thought I'd just say, look who came, the big girl. <laughs> the big girl came into town with us. <laughs> and she really is big. So happy. Nobby, do you like being in the air-conditioned cab? Nobby? Nobby? Nobby, look at the camera. Nobby? Nobby. Camera. Oi. <laughs> She's a bit shy. <laughs> Ta da Where are we? Favourite place in the world. Victor's favourite place in the world. <laughs> and Nabi. We're going to leave the aircon for Nabi and just um, go choose out some cable. Anything else you name? No. Cable. We're just in Dunning. Oh, like, do you even know where you need to go? A little basket. Maybe they don't have baskets. This is the one you've gone for? Yeah, I reckon it's a little bit there. How many rails? Rows? Six. What else? Yeah, you see the, the little wire stuff here. Just oh, it's right here. So we want kind of a chic silver or a skinnier silver, a stainless steel. All right, well, we got it. Can we go for a swim now? <laughs> yeah. Wait, this would be a good kitchen bench. Put all your stuff in it. What else you know? That's it, eh? No, that's it. I want to go for a swim. I'm cooking. Do you want me to go to Coles and get a picnic? Yeah. Nobby. You good gear? Here she uh, comes. That track is called Killer Queen. Just uploaded a couple of days ago, actually. So it's a brand new one. Oh, I thought you were going to drive over there. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't. with Nabi. Are you gonna um, carry it down there? Oh, well, are we having it here? Oh, okay, we're just gonna eat here <laughs> to save carrying stuff. And then I'm gonna go for a swim. Sound good, Nabi? Yeah, that sounds good. You don't forget your first love. We were young and wild. We were up all night. You don't forget that summer sun, 2009. We were feeling high. And I got drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes And tried to make a move
first kiss We were so damn high We could touch the sky Drunk on love happen again. washy and wavy and seaweed everywhere like like you probably saw and then I see the world's biggest grey nurse shark is that pretty, it was a huge one hey yeah well, I shot um I shot this I was about to shoot a snapper yeah and then it was in front of the um, grey nurse oh my and god there was like four of these behind the grey nurse so I just shot it off the grey nurse and that big grey nurse <laughs> yeah yeah and because of how wishy-washy it is, I was like, like, I couldn't see very confidently. I was just following Victor around. And then I just saw the tail end of like a big grey nurse. And they're, like they're harmless and stuff. But it was like a big barrel, like elephant of a grey nurse. And I just started swimming off into the lurky water. And I was like, oh! And I, so I'm like, nah, Victor. I saw, oh, look at this wave coming. Quick, secure your fins. Secure your fins, Narby. Oh, see, that's the 
the sort of wave that came. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so first I saw like a huge... I'm not going to bother. There's like a big, big, big shark. It's a bit scary. I'll go in. And then I'm climbing up on the rocks down here. And, um, and then I look behind me. There's like this big wave coming. And I couldn't climb up with my fins. So I, all my mask on, everything was fogging up. So I put the GoPro up and then I put the mask up. Now I look behind me and there's a big wave and I try to grab my mask and the GoPro and they both fall in the water and I scoop up my mask and then I was like rushing to put my mask back on and then I just was like nah the GoPro is gone it was like what you're looking for a while like five minutes it <laughs> that's good what's that you get to valley or something that's good to eat uh, yeah. and then I I was just swimming around getting washed into the rocks looking in the caves and stuff thinking like you know i have about two minutes before this is washed out to sea and it's the new gopro i bought for victor's birthday we've, this is the first time we've used it and then i was just looking at the seaweed getting this way and that way and i'm in sand and i was like i'll try to follow some seaweed and see where the seaweed gets washed and then i saw victor coming in and this is like five minutes later, I'm like, it's so gone. I'm just going to go in. And then I said to Victor, I've lost the GoPro. And then we were looking for it. And then I started climbing up. And then I dropped my fin. And my fin, I was about here. I was like, Victor, Victor, my fin. And he came from over here and swam around and, and found my fin. And then, and then when he came up out of the water, he had the fin and the GoPro and I was like oh that is such a relief this went from being the worst fishing day to like the best now we just have 24 minutes of um the GoPro being washed into rocks and stuff underwater <clears throat> classic oh. uh, feels lost without it I should find uh, more of your lost stuff more often <sighs> Let's have another look at that fish. What'd you say it was? Some sort of trevally? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Butter him up. Yeah. We're on barbecue. I don't know, like trevally. Oh yeah. But um, yeah, it's pretty dirty out there. 6.26, so it's 6.30 in the afternoon. And I think after that crazy little diving experience with sharks and tidal waves and lost gopros and lost fins and victor being a hero instead of this is victor the hero hmm. instead of um putting my energy into gurneying the deck which would mean not eating dinner to like ever i'm gonna put all my energy into making victor a really nice dinner with the trevally he caught i'm gonna make a bruschetta with some fresh well, tomatoes barbecue, eh? Yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm, I'll marinate that fish and then we're just gonna have big, big piles of bruschetta each with fresh tomatoes and some grilled fish on the barbecue. Put a shrimp on a barbie. Yep, what he said. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. Sick. And then we'll, you'll see, then another day we can gurney off the deck and see <laughs> that whole change, cause. Next week. It was just a bit too chaotic when we went diving. Okay. Not really. No, it was like nothing for Victor. A bit of swell and a bit of few sharks about, and Victor's just cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber? Yeah, haven't you not heard that expression before? No. You haven't heard any expressions. Very sheltered life. A very Swedish life. You have different expressions in your culture. Oh, like, cool as a Swedish meatball. Oi, Kona! Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like Kona. Really? It really helped me pave the way to I've got my ingredients to make some bruschetta. Like, weird. You look beautiful. Thank you. And beautiful mixer. Is sharpening up a knife so I can just really get the most out of those tomatoes. 
try it out. Yeah. Try it out and I'll wash it a bit more. You can use a sponge. Yeah, I'll use a sponge. <laughs> I got you going. Go down the middle first. Oh wow. Huh? Oh wow, that was sharp. Really? Yeah, watch. I'll go because I'm trying to make. Oh wow. Really? Get in a bit closer. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go for it's it. Just like those um, knife sharpening ads, eh? Is it real sharp? That's like compared to our Oh, yeah. I was like sawing them and like onto the. Oh, that. Give it a go. Have... Enjoy that. Do a freshie. Go just down the middle. Hi. Oh. It's insane. It's like a wow. sashimi knife. Holy moly. Yeah. Alright. Back to it. Oh, back to it. I'll get back, back, over. back to reality. Fire going. We have the hero, the GoPro saviour, the um, the fin saver, and this is his reward. We got bruschetta. You can see this one a bit better. Wow. Bruschetta. God, like a master chef. And I've made some um, tzatziki with yogurt and dill from the garden. We have asparagus and a light crumb, not crumb, what's called butter. And the butter. We've got some beetroot. Unreal. Beetroot and lettuce. Got some spare feta to sprinkle on the top. And then we've got the trevally for if we're still hungry. Dessert. For dessert. Big dessert. Come here, Vic. Come here and say goodbye to everybody. Here's um, hero boy Vic. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> And thank you for watching and we're gonna have dinner and thanks again and if you want to see us do anything or make anything or have any suggestions as to what can make this place a lot better subscribe too yeah, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe and comment and see you next time where we actually get the deck done all right bye bye